Hey guys, this is Chris from FX On, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a cloth drop effect, such as in this preview. Um, I'm sorry for the bad quality, although it's set to high definition, I don't know why it's looking so bad. But anyway, this is what I wanna show you how to make. So, um, yeah, this is the thing that I'm going to show you how to create a pretty easy cloth drop thing in Cinema 4D, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm here in my Cinema 4D, and let's start by adding some object to this scene. I will add a, let's say, um, I'm going to go with the tube. Um, in a radius, just gonna do a little adjust this object here. And now, what we need to add is a plane that will work as our cloth. I have to resize the cloth a little bit, like so. So, and now we'll have to right click on the tube or your object and go to simulation and cloth collider. And then go to plane, right click simulation and click cloth. And so if I move like here, let's move the plane a little bit higher like so. And if I hit play, the plane stays at the same position as I did put it. So to make the the plane drop and so it looks like a cloth we have to make it editable but if we do so that means that the cloth or the plane will we, we will not be able to adjust it anymore so make sure that you resize it correctly and you put it in place you like so if I hit C on my keyboard it will make it editable and right now as you can see I cannot move it anymore neither as I can resize it so and now if I go back in a timeline and hit play you can see that it drops but but if you look here it's really really rough and it does not look smooth and nice so that's what we have to deal with right now we now have to make the cloth a little bit thicker as you can see right now it is well it's it does not look like a cloth obviously as the cloth is not so thin so we have to go simulation cloth and click cloth nerves then move the plane inside the cloth nerves now in the cloth nerves on the subdivision we will set that to zero and the thickness that's basically in the depth how thick your cloth will be so mine I would have to say two centimeters thick so something like this and if we pl hit play now it looks kinda good well it obviously does not look like perfect one but we still have to work on that okay so what we have to now do is we will have to add a hypernubs to our cloth nerbs and make sure that you have selected the cloth nerbs here in the objects um, object sidebar and then go here and alt click it on the hypernerve so that way the cloth nerves and the plane is already inside the hypernerve and you do not have to manually add them and what the hypernerve will do is it will smoothen out the the cloth a lot and if i turn off the hypernerve you can see how how bad does the cloth looks now and if i turn it back on it's really smooth and it looks good Although I notice that here we can see that the cloth kind of gets out of um, that the tube gets out of the cloth, but we can easily fix that by duplicating the tube. Basically, copy past the tube, and what we will do is we will just slightly move above the. Um, the actual tube right here and we will make sure we will click these things here so that it will not render out the this copied and passed tube so if we now play it 
you can see that there is nothing sticking out and that's why um, that's where this second tube comes in handy if you have this kind of same situation where object is sticking out of the cloth so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye